My name is Jennifer Berry and I'm a paraprofessional in pre-K and this is my IFU story. I actually had been having some back pain for about a year and um, I had gone through chiropractors and um, I had actually woke up on a Tuesday and I had no feeling in my um, right side at all. I couldn't get out of bed. And I went to my um, family doctor and um, she immediately sent me to Dr. Plaska's office. My name is Dr. Philip G. Plaska. I'm an orthopedic surgeon practicing in suburban Atlanta. But the name of my practice is Regenerative Orthopedics and Spine Institute. Miss Berry came in, she had seen other physicians, and she was in horrible condition. She was crying in the fetal position. I was in tears. He, he described it as I was like an infant. I would go in crying. I couldn't sit. I can remember coming to the office. She was going to be a tough case to cure. But when I examined her, her MRI wasn't too impressive, but she was so tender on her SI joint, and all the maneuvers we do during the physical exam were positive on her. He kept saying, I believe it's your SI. He kept telling him, I felt, feel like I'm nine months pregnant and the baby's ready to drop. The pressure was in that area. Most people point right to that area, kind of the top of the butt where they have their pain. They'll refer to it sometimes as the hip, sometimes as the back. She was a teacher and she, she, we had to put her out on disability. She was unable to work. It's very physical. I move a lot throughout the day. Um, I'm bending down a lot. I'm helping children zip their coat, book bags. Um, I'm, I'm here to assist the lead teacher and so I have to be moving quite a bit so she can do her job. She couldn't really function to take care of her children I and mean, she was in really bad shape. My husband is a police officer. It's a very stressful job and for me to be going through this he had to help take care of the girls and me. It was a lot of stress on him. My daughters um, are used to me being active and being able to do stuff and I, I couldn't. I was literally on the couch for six months. I couldn't get up to go to the bathroom. We always start with physical therapy, bracing, which can help a lot of the cases. Sometimes they'll get better with injection alone and we'll repeat the injection a few times. Surgery is always the last resort. And he said, I want to give you an injection in your SI and see if that gives you relief. Um, I actually had it, and I was feeling like I was able to walk. I could come drop the girls off. I could pick them up. He said, we'll do another one, and then it was even more relief. And he said, yes, I definitely, um, we're going to go ahead with the surgery. We now have a minimally invasive outpatient procedure through a very small incision to stabilize the sacroiliac joint. That really should be immobile. So we put three triangular implants to bridge the joint, to basically bring the joint together and eventually lead to fusion of that joint. I use the iFuse implant system from a company by the name of SI Bone. If it wasn't for SI Bone, our treatment for the SI joint would be still so limited. It has made a significant difference in our ability to treat and care for patients with injuries and disease to the sacroiliac joint. Typically, after we perform surgery on the SI joint, Patients go home the same day, we have them take it easy that day. The next day, we have them up on a walker. We usually recommend taking it easy for about four weeks after surgery. And sometimes we do physical therapy and sometimes not. They're, sometimes they're doing so well postoperatively that they don't need anything, they're so much better already. I didn't even go to physical therapy. Like he suggested it, would you feel more confident? And I said, no, I don't need to. I did exactly what my doctors told me to do. And I, I was very patient about it. And I waited until they told me, okay, now you can do the next step, the next step. And I think that's why I healed very quickly. My philosophy is to try to take care of patients like they're my family. They almost felt like family to me. They really did. Um, you know, it was almost a year that they were my life. and. I was glad to see him go, but, <laughs> but um, they'll always be special to me, you know. It's such a good feeling, especially in the situation with the SI joint because it's so easy to do and it's so quickly, it heals so quickly, it's, so, it's a, such a quick reward for the patient to see them. They can go through years of pain and being undiagnosed or misdiagnosed and to finally cure their problem is a wonderful feeling. It, it truly is. To think a doctor would mean that much to you, but he gave me my life back and they did too. So if you're watching this video and you think you have problems with your sacral iliac joint, feel free to call my office for an appointment. We also have appointments that can be booked online.